the past few weeks, we've been hearing from you about what stories and issues matter in your communities and your neighborhoods. And today we have a story all about the disgusting problem of cigarette butts, finding them strewn about all over the street. Now, this story came to us from you, and Tina Lovegreen is here to take us through it. Tina. That's right. John Rossetti got in touch with us for this story. He's a longtime resident of the West End, and he says his neighborhood looks like this all the time. He says the streets are filled with cigarette butt litter, and he's had enough. He told us that he doesn't understand why the city doesn't do more about it. So we helped John get to the bottom of the story. We spent the entire day with him, and he showed us around his neighborhood. And we even set up an interview with him and the city of Vancouver's director of waste management, so John could get answers to some of his questions. So here it is. Take a look at John's local story. Hi, my name's John Marzetti. I used to run the West End cleanup ever since 2007, but I've recently given that up because cleaning up cigarette butts is an endless task. It's like being a hamster in a wheel. You clean them up, they're back. The city has to put up cigarette ashtrays. Here we are on Davy Street, and you can just look down. There's cigarette butts in the, in the gutter here. It's raining now. God forbid if we're dry, you'd see even lots more cigarette butts out here. There are no ashtrays around here anywhere to collect these things. I would love to see thousands of these all around the city. So how long do you use these? Well, these have been around for a few years. Have eh? you been using them? Oh, yeah, man, always. Yeah. So Tina's arranged for me to meet with Albert Seamus of the City of Vancouver today. Hey, John. How, How are you doing? Good, Good to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you, too. We've tried to get the city to put up ashtrays. My understanding is Coastal Health has poo-pooed that, so that's going to go nowhere. We ran into some challenges with Vancouver Coastal Health around the, the uh, promotion of smoking versus the cessation of smoking. And so, you know, some of their concerns were quite valid. The, the ashtrays were too close to doorways. Uh, they weren't in, in areas that would be suitable for, for uh, smoking areas. And in fact, they would become de facto smoking areas. Having a place to butt out does not promote smoking. I think it's a balancing act for us. I can't speak for coastal health. But for us, we're trying to balance the issues around collecting the litter and um, not promoting anything that is degradatory to health. It does seem that they are planning to do something. And I guess the key is I'm going to have to keep an eye on what gets done. 15, 16, 17, 18 feet, roughly 6 meters. This is where, technically, people should not smoke. This is City Hall. We're on the grounds of City Hall. And it just shows how tough a nut this is to crack, like on their own property. The rules aren't being followed with respect to the six meters, no littering. No, people have a right to smoke. We all have our own rights. It's just the irresponsible smokers who throw their butts in the ground. Just dispose of them properly. The earth is not your ashtray, really. Simple as that. Mm, so, Tina, all, it seems like all the guy wants is more ashtrays, right? But given that he doesn't buy the idea, and I suspect a lot of people wouldn't buy the idea that having more ashtrays encourages or promotes smoking. When you put that idea to Vancouver Coastal Health, what do they say? Well, I spoke with Mina Dewar, who's a medical health officer with Vancouver Coastal Health, and she says the research just doesn't show that litter would be reduced if you put up more ashtrays. They did a research last summer where they had research students out observing smokers, and what they found was that 85% of smokers would throw out their cigarette butts on the floor even if there was an ashtray or a receptacle, receptacle nearby. Even with an ashtray, they just throw it on the They would throw it out. So she says oh. the best way to reduce the litter, get people to quit smoking. Right, right. okay. I mean, that's, that's perhaps a long-term solution. Are there short-term solutions on the table right now as far as getting those cigarette butts out of the streets? Well, one of the options is having a cigarette deposit program, sort of what we do have with our cans and bottles, where you return them for a small refund. But there are a lot of questions on how that would be carried out. I mean, how, how much would you charge? How much would you give back? Who would count them? Where would you give them back? Right, and that, and the infrastructure. Program, right? Yeah, that's, right. that's a big thing to say. But there are a lot of other ideas. I mean, take a look at what the city of Nanaimo has just piled. These are called pocket ashtrays, and they're handing out 200 of these to smokers. And the idea is that you just take your cigarette butt, put it in, put it in your pocket, and then once you get to a trash can or a garbage, you can empty it out there. And but they expect people to carry these around, put the cigarettes in them, put them in their purses. That's right. Oh, okay. But I mean, again, Interesting to see we don't know. Would, yeah, I would buy into that. That's right. <laughs> Interesting stuff. Uh, Tina Lovegreen, thanks a lot. So hey, as part of your uh, our, our What's Your Story initiative, we want to hear from you. So go ahead, drop us a line at mylocalstory at cbc.ca, or you can send us a message on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. Just be sure to use the hashtag mylocalstory.